Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we're building the biggest transportation company Australia has ever seen. Now, in the last episode, boys, we extended and built our very own passenger line. It goes all the way from Adelaide down to Portland into Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne uh, to Albury and to what is triggering in every single Australian in the whole world right now in the comment section of last episode. Wagga, wagga. Listen, boys, Australia, listen here right now. Get your town names right. <laughs> You ever think I like to trigger Australians because I truly believe Australia is not a real place? Uh, apparently, Australians call this Wagga Wagga. I don't know whether this is a joke right now, uh, but there we go. Apparently, that's not called Wagga Wagga. Uh, Wagga, Wagga. This is not called Melbourne, right? Um, apparently, I'm saying Canberra or Canberra, Canberra wrong. Well, you can tell me right now, this is not right. You can tell me that Sydney's not right. I'm joking, guys. I know it's Sydney. I know. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode, boys. If you are enjoying this series so far, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new, make sure you do subscribe to so get notified when episodes do come out. Right, jokes aside, I'm going to trigger you no matter what happens, okay? Deal with it. But today, we are going to build a passenger line that goes from Adelaide to Mildura to Wagga Wagga, okay? And maybe into Canberra. <laughs> and um, try and get these all hooked up. Now, it does mean I'm going to have to rejig the Mildura uh, train station. We have to kind of uh, rejig it because we also have to integrate our high-speed passenger rail train stations as well. Just to kind of future-proof ourselves to where things are going. Now, if I've got enough time, I also want to kind of build uh, a couple of uh, routes up to start supplying uh, Wagga Wagga uh, with bricks and uh, Aubrey with goods. Now, it does mean all this stuff is going to probably come from up here. There is the brick factory there. There's a good factory just there. I know there's one nearby over here, but we'll probably utilize that one because there's a lot of stuff around it. We need plastics, which is up here as well. So it just makes a little bit of sense. So it does mean we have to kind of configure our lines a little bit more north. Now, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be crazy, and I'm probably going to get some stuff wrong. But also, I eventually need to get bus routes linking to each of these train stations in these towns because the towns are going to go for huge growth spurts, and we need to make sure that we keep on top of it. So what I'll do is I'll first start here in Mildura. Now, wait for the trains to leave, just in case I do some oofing. Pause for a quick second. Now, what I want is eventually from, or well, I'm going to build a elevated train line from Adelaide through Mildura to Wagga Wagga. Uh, that's what, you know what? That's what I'm going to call it now, okay? Wagga Wagga. That's what I'm going to call it. And eventually get all the way in, in, in uh, Newcastle from Canberra, Sydney, and terminate there. Now, I needed to crisscross this station. It's a big station. I need them two stations to be connected. But it also, it's a complete cargo station at the moment. Now, we do have two runs or two lines coming in on these platforms either side that we're not utilizing that, that I do want to turn into passenger. Problem is, the other side of them are used via cargo lines. So we're going to have to do some configurations. It's going to be interesting and probably cause a lot of destruction. But it would mean that I might be able to push the buildings a little bit closer into Mildura. So you might get a little bit more coverage from this station alone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try and test it out on this last couple of sections here. And ultimately, how far I can push it. Now, I would kind of like to be able to have multiple platforms in for the multiple cross-country um, train stations that we're going to have, you know, coming down here from all the way from over near Perth. So it's a case of, do I also push this more to the right? Because I need to get a passenger line in there. Basically, what I've got to do, all right, I don't need passenger buildings, passenger tracks, platforms, there we go is I need to get a passenger station or line either side there, but it kind of messes up all this, meaning that we then would need... Oh, no, hold on. So the other option could be I do you like that, platform, then a cargo, but then the cargo... Oh, no, no, because the passenger line would be on this side. All right, tracks... So I still get to keep my two tracks here, but they share a platform rather than two individual platforms. But then I would need something here to connect over. So what I could do, even though I'm not ever going to utilize it, 
But I could do that, or I could build cargo, or I could, track-wise, build another track and another platform. Like this. So I could get a third cargo line in if needs be. Right, that solves this side, but this side here is going to be a, a complete headache all on its own. So if I now delete all of this, which is going to cause issues right now for my current lines. Right, it's all got to go, unfortunately. It's all got to go. We'll get it all back. No problemo. Right, there we go. Delete, 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 delete. Now, the only thing I'm messing up on this side is the ore and the coal run that we're going to have coming in. But if I just sort all this out first, it's very confusing. Don't get me wrong. It is very confusing right now. But it will push us a little bit closer to Mildura in terms of the buildings anyway. And I'll make this one run further down to try and get a little bit of a connection over here. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll try it anyway. Um, I might go all the way to the end. Okay, that's as far as I can go to get that connection. Now, passenger platform will implement in. Now, this is ridiculous. It is an absolutely ridiculous train station. I get it, but it's so important for what I want it to do. It doesn't need to be like this, but I'm choosing it to be like this because I like everybody to have a separate line, a separate station, a platform for their individual lines so we can unload and load as many trains at once. That's the whole reason for it. Now, it does completely mess up, so what I'll do is I'll delete back to here. Okay, and then... What I need to do is get the train line. Now, this is all going to come from here. So that will we'll kind of treat it as the main run goes into there. And then this can kind of come out just there. And then can I do a crisscross here? <coughs> oh, damn. I think I'm allergic to Australia. Yep. Cynix allergic to Australia confirmed. Crisscross just happening just here. So that line there, which is not the passenger line, it could be a passenger line, but it's mainly we've now gained a third cargo line that could stop and end here. So they both treat it there. So we need to go to Mildura or, and we'll make this platform one, and then Mildura coal, and we'll make this platform two. So they're back on their original ones. I can... They can utilize this platform as well because you got it to utilize multiple kind of lines. They also should be able to utilize. Actually, we can make them not do that. I can make them utilize them two sides there. So get rid of you and for you. So the, the ore and the coal don't actually come down this one. We can keep this one completely separate for, you know, whatever it may be. I don't know, but this is a steel plant. We will need to distribute more steel elsewhere, so we might as well utilize that for another steel in the future, which could actually go up to where I, the goods factory where I need steel. So that actually works out pretty sweet for us. Yeah. Now, apparently we got an issue. Um, no path for which train? What do you mean there's no path? You, you, you do have a path. Um, you legit have a path. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, I know what it is, because that's not connected to here. We're technically not connected now back to Mildura. It's because we don't have any buildings, boys. All right, if I just delete there for a quick second, and then I configure, and then we need buildings, which will go cargo, and we'll do a passenger building as well. Why not? Why not? But we'll go large cargo buildings. So I do one right there at the end of the road. One right there. And I might as well go for one right here. So the point of them is to be super large, to push further into Mildura to give us more coverage so the machine factory actually covers more of the machine buildings. Now, passenger buildings will drop you like this, which does mean we're going to have to slightly oof the town a little bit which is fine because it's not really that built up anyway it's not really that built up anyway delete you back to there and then we'll run a road coming straight across 
So I don't want any ownership in this brand new road. We're going to build from here and go straight across to there. Run it further down. And then allow the city to build up to it as it pleases. I mean, I could make it pretty straight as well, but it kind of wants to be on a little bit of a bend. So we'll go with it. There. That runs down to there. And now we're technically all connected again. So they should now have a route. When you say you don't have a route, you do have a route. Which will sort that out. The other train that's stuck. There we go. Just kind of quickly turn it around and then turn it back. And it should sort everything all out. Now, this train station, look how much more coverage it's now got. So much more coverage. And to the point where it's now reaching more of the machine buildings and more of the food buildings. So, Muljera will start demanding more guts. Which means that this machine factory will now start producing more. Which is quite exciting. It is quite exciting. Now, that extends it and gives us a passenger um, platform there. But it still doesn't truly do exactly what I need it to do. I've now got to extend this side over by one more before I can put in my elevated station over the top of it. So back to configuring then. The annoying part now is we've got to do more rapid expansions. So delete the, build the, the buildings. The buildings are only there in case Mildura decides it does want to expand a little bit further over. And we've now got to technically delete from here upwards oh my goodness me so if i delete there right and then go to tr no not tracks any platforms because i'm placing in my passenger line all right passenger line here this is where the high speed trail uh trails rail high speed rail lines high speed trains will start and end going towards perth that's what's going to happen so we've got that in, like we've done there, and we might as well then just flip it around where we have another set of train tracks here. And then ultimately what we're doing is we're then deleting this set of train tracks. Oh no, we delete no 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 we're deleting this train tracks as well. Right, we are deleting all of this. We're deleting everything, is what I'm doing. We are deleting everything. So we've only got three cargo lines coming in on this one side here. And then one of them will be on this line here, obviously. That's how we do it. Bam, 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 bam. I can't get that in because of the collisions. Let me just delete back the connections here and here. All right, go back to configuring. We'll then need to delete all of this. All right, and then platforms back in. You go there. I could actually keep that there as an additional one, like how I got an additional one here and then put the three on this side. So I mean, technically, I would have gained two more platforms to utilize lines on it's never a bad thing it's never a bad thing so if this is my two lines here all i then need to do is delete this going all the way down all right delete this line as well i wish it was like a mass delete button where you can like highlight everything that you want to delete all in one go that would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Platform-wise, if I then do a cargo one again. Right, that completely messed up. So I could do it like that. I've got my free originally back, but I might just keep it like that for now. I could always add on a third one if I really want to. So I don't really think I gained anything from that, to be honest with you. Putting the cargo buildings, that's way too big. Way too big. Decent size there. One there. One there, why not? 
and then I just now got to reconnect everything I've just now technically oofed. So let's delete this back to here because everything now goes all over the place. <laughs> it really does. All right, bringing you in. So we've got three lines. We've got one line that comes down. Which technically bypasses, if I'm being honest with you. It technically bypasses to get to there. If I delete you. Right, I'm going to delete this back a bit. So this is the bypass line where the wood comes in. The wood goes through and it's dropping that wood off over here. That's what it's doing. We get it. We understand. And then we have these two lines. I'm going to delete this all the way back to here. So it doesn't bend as weird. And then run you down to there. Actually, before I do that, let me run this to here. Run you to there. And then run you... I might, I might as well get it connected to the same crossroads and then kind of turn out a little bit. So that should do what I need it to do, right? It does need food dropping off, so we will see a food train come in. Hold on. Did I have an additional platform? Am I going cuckoo right now? Because we've got... The Mildura machines coming in, so manage the line. That is on, in terms of Mildura, line one. Sorry, Mildura North. Line one, which when it gets to Mildura, it needs to be on the very, very far side, which will be line six. So that sorts that out. The other one is then the steel. That gets picked up and dropped off. So Mildura North needs to be on number two. Oh no, I'm hang on, I'm still on Mildura, Mildura Steel, number two. Then Mildura, oh sorry, Mildura North's on number two. This one needs to be then on number five, which that sorts that out. The planks come all the way down and through and don't have to interact with this. But we have a food line. Oh, no, we don't have a food line coming in no more. We got rid of it. Because we did it with vehicles. That's what I was thinking. That's where, that's where it was getting me slightly confused. Yeah, that's where I was getting slightly confused. Right, we're back to normal now. We're back to normal, and we've integrated this to have a passenger line. Now, you could argue the only thing I'm now missing is... Da -da 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 -da, miscellaneous, the underpasses... There we go. The station connects more, so now I can officially build an elevated station going over the top of it. Took longer than expected, but we got there in the end. So we need an elevated train station right now, which is elevated passenger line. We'll make it super long. So we can go over this and we'll put it... I'll pull it about here, so we do get a, a kind of a... We can add a building. This side here, if that makes sense. So if I, if I literally build it like here... So if I go for... Right, let's go for about... Hmm. I'm trying to know how far to push it. I reckon here will be okay. Well, it's going to be trial or an error anyway. Hang on, was that the right height? Seems it. Yeah, it should be fine. Anything else that we're, we're pretty much struggling on? Anything that we're pretty much struggling on right now? We can just bring buses to it. So, configure. And, oh, do you know what? i got to delete it again. 
Only because I forgot to add high speed. Even though it's not really going to be high speed. Oh, do I want pillars? If I do spaced pillars. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? All right, spaced pillars. We'll go to... Okay, we'll go there. All right, apparently you've got spaced pillars. There is zero pillars. Well, it is high speed is the main thing. All right, configure this then. Track-wise... Now, we need elevated tracks. This is technically going to be a middle station, so you will need bypassing routes. Right, it's building the pillars underneath, which I'm hoping that's not going to bite me in the booty. Yeah, it's going to bite me in the booty that I need the bridge pillar expansions. Oh no, you just have to extend further on. I'm not sure how the platform's going to work with this. It might be a case that I've got to delete it again, guys, because I put the pillars in. Which is going to be super annoying. Why you got to have pillars in for? Platforms. I need elevated platforms. Why did I put pillars on, on the station now, thinking about it? I should have known. Right, surely the elevated track can now go in. No. Why? Well, what I'll do is I'll delete... Oh, I'll have to delete that road, which is really annoying. Still, wait, what's going on now? Is it because this is now in the way? Don't, don't ask. Let's go. Now I can't delete it. What is going on with this section here? <laughs> What's going on with this section? I think what it needs to do is have another pillar, doesn't it? Is what it's trying to do. What is... Right. I don't get what it's trying to do right now. Is it the building below? This is why I shouldn't have built with pillars. Even though they look super cool and I do like them and it makes it not float. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I apparently can't get four in a row here. Right, I got an idea. Right, what are the chances of this working? What do you mean? <laughs> You've got pillars everywhere else. But I can't delete that one. Right, you know what, boys? The whole thing's getting deleted. Right, you've seen the issues I had. You've seen it. We all can confirm. Right, no pillars. None. I might do two there, so I only got to delete one extra. No, I, I'll do one. Right. Please leave me alone, game. Leave me alone at this point. I just want to build. I just want to build. Right. At least I know I'm now not going to get rogue pillars being a big pain for me. Right. I'm trying to go crazy. This is super long, but I want it to be long. It's going to be quite... It's going to be... It's Honestly, 
It's an important station. The reason why this is so long is because the amount of passengers coming from high-speed rail and crisscrossing over to this line is going to be huge. So you kind of need to cover your back on it. All right, that's already got one there. That's got one there. You can kind of see where it's got it because you have no blue, no blue icon. So they're the Chrissy Crossies. We're now going to sort out the ability for passengers to actually get to um, this. So you put down, you can put down elevators. I can put them in or directly under. Directly under looks a lot better. All right, I'll put one there and then one there. Do it on this side as well. So that adds a connection, a generic connection anyway. That connects there on that side. That connects there. And that connects there. I need a road to go through. And then we'll connect all the other ones that are technically not connected right now. So we'll utilize the junction here as a connection. There we go. Back to configuring. Now, you technically can't get these touching the road. So if I put one on that side, so that one does connect, which is completely fine. But you can add these little entryways on them as well, which give you a greater radius of the connectivity, which really works out well. So you don't mind them destroying buildings because the buildings will grow back. But they give us the connecti connectivity to the road. Even though they're already connected, I'm just giving them a bit more of a solid connection. So you select this train station, or if I select this train station, this one down here, highlight. So we are intertwined. We are connected. Leave me alone, game. Leave me alone. We're back into play mode now. We have the passenger line going directly above it. It's not beautiful, but I got to get this route set up. So Adelaide's going to be the next problem now because I've got to do the same thing here and get it to crisscross this train station. So I'm thinking because it's going to have to go for the mountain as a connection. So maybe if I did it going up there, where you then hit the mountain straight away, or I can do it on a diagonal straight through. You know what I mean? It does become a lot more difficult at this point so maybe not as long how long is 240 even 240 is way too long or 160 so a diagonal like that would actually work it really would work 160 is probably a little bit too short but a 240 is too long so it's going to be a case of where i'm gonna have to kind of extend a little bit myself now, it doesn't have to. The great thing about this is if I pull it, like, for example, here, this station doesn't have to kind of be able to connect over to here because as long as it connects to this station, the radius are, I've, are almost combined. If they can walk over to here, they can kind of transfer over to here, which works out really well. So if I now configure this, elevated tracks, which mean bridge pit. Don't even go there with the bridge pillars right now. Don't even go there. It's eating into the... Uh, I think that's what it might be. It's just eating into this. Alright, if I flatten this back a little bit. Just to there. I just want to extend it by one more if possible. Now, this is an end station, so I don't need four platforms or four tracks. I just need it like this. That's all it needs to be. Now, there is a drop down there and there. There's two there. So that literally sorts me out there. That's all I need to do. And then just be able to connect down to this station. So this station's got a connection there, as you can see. See the roads or the paths connecting to it. So this, we've got to be super careful. And super smart with how we do get it connected. So one there, put you there, put you there, and then you there. And then do the same again. So this should give us the connections. Some areas it won't work. It works fine there. 
We'll work there. It's not going to work here on this one. Nor that one. But I think that, that's because these ones are completely dug into the ground. Do we get a connection from this one? And it also is a bit more difficult because they're going uphill. But I think as long as it's connected to there, it's within the vicinity of the radius, and that's all that matters. So I've got to get it pumping through, but as it's going for the mountain, I've got to try and reduce it down as much as I can. And it's not going to stay elevated the whole way. It doesn't need to. It can drop down to a normal height and then pop back up. Because I don't know if I'm going to keep it elevated the whole way round. I could, though. There's nothing wrong with that. So if I come out to about here, and we'll see. Do I want to drop it down or do I want to like raise it up? If I kept it raised. I mean, first things first, not having it go all the way. So if I just bring it to there, pop you out. Oh, hello. to here and we'll bring this out a bit we've got all the space in the world right now so i'm not like worrying about chrissy crossies and all that kind of jazz straight away obviously you want to get him in as quick as possible but we've got a bit of freedom to play around with so we'll get to there and then we'll go to there so that's that one side then done Let's pull this directly out. So cutting through. Where's the snap? Now, is that that's dropping, which is going to cause me. Oh, that's that. Okay, that works almost. All right, that's the snap. Now, I can get it to come out level, which means that we're going to make this level as well. And if I get it to about... He's going to run alongside the road. Right. This is kind of exciting, isn't it? It is kind of exciting. But we've got to get it just right. All right, that goes into there. We're going to have to do the crisscross here. Now, the train might be kind of long, so I'm going to do the crisscross in the tunnel here. There we go. Just in case the train is super long that we use. You just never know. You just never know. And then we've got to get you connected to over there. So I'm kind of looking to see where it does it. What bridges we can use. We can use... Okay, that works. That works as a bridge. And you maintain the speed as well. Until he gets over the town. So that works perfect. It's not pretty. Okay. You've got, you have to admit it's not pretty. But it would do the job. It would do the job. So just smooth in to get rid of that. So that gives the ability then to run a train line from Adelaide. Connecting to this station. So people from like Melbourne or Portland can kind of get up crisscross. So we've got the two, like, we've got the two lines. One doing the loop going around. One cutting straight through. But we're eventually bringing them to Mildura. So the Adelaide and the Wagga Wagga one, <laughs> they need to be quite important Chrissy Crossies. They really do. So let's build the Wagga Wagga or Wagga Wagga, as you guys want me to call it right now. Um, train line Chrissy Cross. And that's going to come straight across. So you can see it's just there straight across in a line which should pass over here. Which should be pretty interesting. So the issue we're going to have here then is the fact that the terrain behind it does level up. But when has that ever stopped us before? And we've also got to kind of think what's going to happen in Canberra. Now that's going to be a headache for another time because I'm not going to run it all the way down to there. I was going to get it to Wagga Wagga to begin with. So we just got a simple back and forth. But we do have to kind of think about where the train line here is going to run. Now it could run, I could delete this road here for Canberra and run it there and then tunnel it under because it's got to be tunneled to go down to uh, Sydney. So if the idea is it's going to run into there, it could come over this way, meaning I could cross it diagonally that way. 
Because we've already got the, the train station situated. Yeah, that will work out for us. That would work out for us. So back to being elevated. And I might... I, I think I've got the... Yeah, I've got definitely got the room here to go a little bit longer. And we'll go about there. Right. Configure this. Uh, now, this is going to have to need to... Right, it's going to need to have a bypassing station. So we are going to need to build four tracks. Because I can also see that this is going to run cargo on it at some point. As this line progresses down, I can see it's doing a big loop to connect to this line. So when the goods get delivered to Canberra, Sydney, and Newcastle, they're going to have to somehow cross onto this line to go down, because it's the only line going to be going down that direction. Now, I don't need cargo to stop off here for uh, Wagga 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 Wagga, because we've got the station down below that's going to do that job for us. So no cargo stations needed here on this strain station anyway. So get all that in. One there, one there. And then we Gucci boys. Now, oh, we'll quickly sort out the connection underneath. And then I can leave this station alone. So going to make sure that we get it all connected just right. Making sure that we, we need a road on the other side as well. All right, that's going to have to go there. Now, I'm hoping I can get the connection. Oh, this might not work on this side. Right, this is not going to work on this side. I might need to go for some... Yeah, there we go. I will go for the outer side ones. So it doesn't work there, but with a connection... There we go, a connection there. So we got it on both sides there, which connects up. But we do need... And we have to configure this station real quick. The building's on this side. So, just normal buildings now. Because I can see this town also expanding past this side as well. Right, build you there. Build you... Oh, that's sticking out way too much. Build you... There. Just so I can kind of figure out where the road's going to go. Wait, is that a different building? That's a different building, isn't it? Right, now I'm configuring the wrong train station. <laughs> is it that one? No. Is it this one? No. Oh, it's that really small one, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Right. Push you through to there. I'm going to run this road going down anyway. And then just quickly configure to see what I can throw in just here. Maybe it would have to be a car, a small cargo building or some... Oh, no, what I could do is this, if it touches. No, it doesn't touch. All right, just do that like that anyway. All right, the whole point of that was so I can get a connection on this side. So if the town does extend on this side, we're all connected. So passenger buildings. And it's just trying to figure out what's the best one's going to be. That might work. No. Okay, it does there. Perfect. And then same on this side. Is that connected? Oh, yeah, it was connected. Okay, by default. Right, that's done then. So we are technically connected then. This train station touches that one, which gives us an access to the town, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, boys. So now then, we got to get this connected. Now... Does it make sense for me to drop it down to to the the same level like I did here? I don't think so because that runs in. I think this could stay completely elevated. Now, if I go to my tracks and pick you and then run it directly to the train station here, because it would go into that stop, you can kind of see what we got. We'll space them out with this. Does that look ridiculous? That is a straightforward run. Does that look stupid having it completely elevated to that height? Because it does have to go to somewhat of a height. Let me kind of confirm it. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon it's a bit too silly? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you feel like this one's a little bit too much being elevated the whole way. We'll kind of build what, we, what we've got to build first. So connect you in. 
to there. And then we do the crisscross. Like that. Does it seem stupid? I feel like it seems a bit stupid. And maybe we should have brought it down to the set, like to the ground level, or maybe a little bit lower. I don't know if I'm sold on it. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold on it. But for now, we'll leave it like that. What would you guys do? Would you keep that in? Because I like the idea of this. It goes gradually down than, than on the ground. That does not go gradually down and stays completely elevated all the way over. Ooh, I don't know. It seems a bit ridiculous. If It's one of the things, if, you, if you're not sure about something, then it's not right. But I'm not going to complain. Well, I am going to complain, but I'm not going to... Yeah, I am moaning. I will complain and I will moan. But I'm not 100% sure what to do about it. Could it be that I need to bring it down as quick as possible and then we'll then rise it back up? But then what would be the point in that? Right, we'll leave it for now. You guys can kind of give me some ideas in the comment section. We're going to create a quick little line right now. Now, this line will eventually, right, extend all the way. Hang on, hang on I've, I've picked the wrong one there, haven't I? I think I have. Yeah. This line will eventually extend all the way to Newcastle. So it will go from Adelaide to Newcastle and back via Mildura, Wagga Wagga, Wagga Wagga, Canberra, Sydney, and then back again. And that's what it would do. It's a way to kind of combine these two lines. Now, on the way back here in the Mildura Annex, using the other side, I haven't set up yet the what you call it the signals so they go up on that way so these are the wrong way around so that'll be one that'll be two and then it doesn't really matter on those sides for now it doesn't really matter but let me set up some signals i, I don't know how many trains we're gonna see coming in but why have I put that there? That doesn't need to go there. What an idiot. <laughs> right, that one goes there. Do one there. Oh, damn it. I wish I never chose the signals to go this way because I get so confused now. All right, that goes there. On this side, that goes there. Boy, get in. There and there. Obviously, that one goes here. I'll do one more set just in case. Now, obviously, I need to bring or implement a train depot to connect to this. So this is the other thing as well. It was eventually going to see somewhere down here connect to it. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. We'll have to have a kind of crisscross junction to kind of connect to there. That swoops in. Or maybe it kind of comes down here and connects going that way. That's probably what it would do. That's probably what it would do. Yeah. But I'm not sold on this. If you got any ideas, let me know in the comments. Yeah, take a screenshot now. Here. What would you do? Would you bring it down? Pop it up? Who knows? Who knows? But let's get a, uh, a little train depot in. We'll implement the train depot just here. And then train tracks leading out. There we go. And get a passenger train on. Now, I'm not sure what the passenger train size or what it looked like. So I managed a vehicle. It was the... It's got four carriages. It's the A35 and four carriages. So, Steam, A35, 
and then four passenger carriages. One, two, three, four. 84 capacity. We'll take it. Line one, which I do need to now, now rename it. Actually, I'm not going to rename it, just solely down to the fact that it's going to go even further, so I might as well just hold out for just a moment. Right, so that's now been all leading up to me having this passenger line now implemented in. Mildura will now technically expand a bit more than what it is doing because it can now get more guts. This might start producing more steel. That needs to be picked up. This might start producing more machines. This might start carrying more machines over here. And we should see a slight little uptick in food being delivered as well. Demands are definitely going to increase for Mildura. They're going to start demanding more. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, it is demanding more food because I'm starting to see there's more food on these platforms now waiting. So it could be a case that we might need to start thinking about upgrading this train. Is it still making money? It is. Let's edit it. Cargo. And let's add it to be a 156 capacity. So it adds a little bit more on there. Get more delivered. Because it is running out of wheat. It really is running out of wheat right now. But that's okay. That is okay. Tis okay. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Um, right, so we'll give that time to settle down. Because now all of a sudden we've got new passenger routes all involved. And they can go any direction they want to go in. So next obvious thing to do would be um, pretty much setting up buses to bring pa uh, passengers to the actual train station covering the whole of the towns that they're technically now in. Exciting, right? But I do want to get set up the brick and the goods routes as well. So the brick and the good routes, they're going to come from up here. We have the goods um, factory over here. We have the brick um, or the construction. Is it called brick or construction materials? Construction materials. So we can feed this from, I mean, there's one right here next to it. I could just feed it very easily. I could also bring it from down here, but that might could work. <laughs> that could work. So I could even bring it over there, which makes it life easy with trains and then the train coming down. But this is the tricky one. Now it needs steel and plastics. Now steel is fine because I've got now got an extra platform where I can bring steel from up here all the way up and drop it off there. Completely fine. The issue is plastic. Now, I do have a plastic factory over there, but it needs refined oil. Now, I could take it from this system, but I'm going to need more fuel. What are the other towns requiring? Fuel, fuel. No one else. Okay, one other town requires goods apart from Albury. So I might keep this separate solely for the fuel, then have to build a whole new line for the plastics. Now, we do have the ability to pick up crude oil here, down to there, to turn it into refined oil, to bring it straight up to plastics, to bring the plastics over there. Now, that is a big triangle we've got to do. Or I could pick up from there in to go down to there to then come back. But the, the, the downside is it's a different type of train needs to deliver the goods. I could have one train there one train there and it'll be a different train there so it'll be three trains set up in this system oh it just it just got so much more complicated didn't it it just got so much more complicated now we could bring the line up into here for the plastic so it can go through there but it's how we crisscross it all here so what i think we need to do is start with a pass a cargo station super long super duper long and we'll build it as a connection here is that dropping away that land it really is yeah so if i build it here it doesn't matter about it dropping away on that side because i can configure it to add in a road and all that kind of jazz so cargo-wise, bam, bam, 
there will go. Now, we'll do tracks. So we'll get another set of tracks here. Now, I can see there being lots of... There's going to be lots of trains coming in, no matter what. So we might as well kind of bulk it up. Oh, man. I always have to mess up by one, don't I? I'm going to do four platforms. Or four lines and have multiple platforms. That makes sense. Four lines coming in, but there's obviously going to be multiple platforms. Um, platforms. Oh, man. And we'll just get the lines to crisscross onto different platforms when it starts to get super busy. But preempting it quite rapidly. And then we need cargo buildings. So cargo buildings go nice and juicy just here and here. I could do one at the very end. But I don't want the drop so harsh. So we'll leave it like that. To where we can then build a road. Going off here. And if I do it to bend. Like this. To there. And obviously then we have to then smooth it all out. Let me just do like the brush strength for like super high. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And then that means that station there connects to them two buildings. It's a bit awkward, but just roll with it, okay? Roll with it. Now, we kind of need to create a little bit of a V here, which is going to throw off everything that's going on, but we can adjust the signals. And as long as the signals are in place, there, there shouldn't be any issues. So if I come directly off here and bend now it is going to be a sh slow connection like the train tracks are going to be drastically slowing down but they are coming to the platform anyway so if i lead that into here lead this up and as it gets to there we bring it into that one and that's how we divide them pretty easy. Now from here, I'm going to bring it into there. So that's just how it's going to have to be. And then what we'll in integrate here is a crisscross there. And coming off. there into there on both sides is how we pull it all in it's not pretty guys it's not pretty but it should do the job it should do the job so we'll have a stop there and going out this way a stop here as opposed to there get rid of you and push it in for the crisscross signal just there signal just there i think that will work who knows who knows at this point but that gets connected right now to kind of integrate to both of them i'm gonna have to configure this station real quick while there's no one here All right what we'll do is we'll keep the tracks where they are Delete the buildings there. Delete the platforms going all the way up. And then let me get track wise. Because we need we need bypassing tracks now. Oh god damn it. Right, bam, bam, bam. Oh man. 
had to go mess it up at the end, didn't I? Tracks. There we go. Delete all this. And then get another set of tracks here. With the platform from running. So this is that that plastic run can kind of um, connect through. So get rid of that for just a second. Delete all this. Delete back to there. So I need train tracks now. That originally run back into here. You run back into there. You connect in. You connect in. Bam. And bam. Does the job, boys. Now, what have we got coming in here right now? We've got so many lines coming in. We could probably do with switching them, but those lines, we need to manage the lines right now. We need to make sure when they get to McKay, they can utilize both sides. Aubrey Fuel, utilize both sides. Um... What else is coming in here? We've done Aubrey and we've done Adelaide. McKay Oil. Utilize both sides. I'll probably have to come back and rejig all this again at some point. Oh, that's done. Did I do Adelaide? Apparently I did. Portland. Yeah, so I'll have to come back and kind of rejig all this, but that's going to then run down here to there. So when we kind of bring the crude oil from here and drop it to there and bring the plastics back, the lines are completely separated, but we need to add more platforms there because there's too many lines coming out of that. So that's how it would kind of work here. Ignore this. <laughs> Ignore all of this, boys. Right, we don't talk about it. But when I've got a bit more time, I will fine-tune it. And we'll bring the oil from here into there. I mean, I could bring it from elsewhere. But it just makes sense. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Just keep fully loading it up. We're all good. So oil to there. Crude oil to there. Plastics back to here. Steel bringing up. Which I could technically... Create a new line and start bringing steel here now. So I'll make this light color. Um, we'll call this. Oh, what do I call it? Mill Dura Steel. <laughs> I've spelt it the wrong way around. Mill Dura Steel 2. There we go. And just buy a small little steel train there. So steam. Ooh, do I go flying? I'm going to go flying starts moment because of the distance will should be able to make some decent money. And we'll go for a 91 capacity for now and to see how we get on. So Mildura Steel 2. So we've already got the one side of the goods now being set up. <clears throat> We've already got the one side of the goods being set up. We just need plastics coming in, which we are almost there. There is just a few more configurations needed. Now, to bring oil in, I'm probably just going to run the line in and then turn that way so we can turn it in. This is going to be quite a confusing junction, but we, we, we should be good. We should be kind of good in the end. Um, we also need to set up the brick line as well. That's going to be something else that we kind of need to get up and running. Which that's there to there, so there to there, and then bring this maybe into the oil line so we can kind of come down and turn out and go that way. Make life a bit easier for us. But we have plans of what we need to do. We do now have plans. Which is going to be interesting. Now, do we need to get more oil delivered? You could argue yes. Yes, we do. But there's more oil coming over, so we'll, we'll hang out for a minute, see how we're getting on. Um, 
steel on the new on the Moldera Steel 2 route is now coming into play. Which will I think it's just literally made this building upgrade. So that should now start producing more steel in general. Exciting, boys. Very exciting. So the passenger train line won't really see profits yet until we've got the goods delivered to the cities. And the city slightly expands. But also we need to cover more of the city with bus routes to bring more passengers to and from. So we'll have to kind of wait it out on that one. Now this line does make money, but we'll, we'll see a slight little hit on that line. As passengers want to go from Wagga Wagga to Adelaide, no longer have to go the long way round. They've got the shortcut route. So we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. A lot of stuff we've got done. Didn't get it, manage to get it all what I did done today, but we've got a lot of stuff set up for the future, which is super important. Now, I can't say that I would have now broken any new sales records. In fact, I haven't. My best year to date is actually, you could argue, 229 is my best income for a single year. So, yeah, we have had a good time, but none of that has come from what we've done today. <laughs> so, interested to see what happens moving forward. Very interested to see what happens moving forward. We're waiting for a train here to pass through. Is that train on the wrong side or have I got the signals on the wrong side? Why have I got a signal here? Signal needs to go here. And that solves all of our problems. What's going on here? Why have you stopped there? Oh, I have no signals here. All right, that keeps that now moving. Right, we got there in the end, boys. We got there in the end. Things are now moving. Things are now rocking. Things are now rolling. Trains will now start moving. This train will not leave because there's too much going on. So I'm going to put another signal here. I do one there as well. So once that passes there, this should then have the freedom to tick out. Which it does. Glorious. Right. Big plans, boys. Big plans. But the rail lines are now starting to get a little bit confusing. But we do have the ability to run a high-speed train line from here to Perth. But the, the passenger lines in Perth are not yet up and running. Guys, until next time, I will see you all soon. So, goodbye.